All right, hey everybody, uh, Ben here. We got another wine cork top water popper uh, this morning, and you can find the pictures for this finished product anyway afterwards on my Instagram, bhi dot flies. So gonna do this one in a similar fashion that I did the last fly but I think we're gonna add some metallic flash in there and I did a video earlier uh, my first one really about making your own uh, spinnerbait blades for those of you that are big on bass fishing or anything that you're adding a metallic blade to to add flash uh, my suggestion was that instead of using metal, you could also use something that is metallic and reflective. Anything from tin foil to, I know you can get various tapes uh, for HVAC that are also metallic. Um, in that case, um, same thing is going to work. I'm just using a little bit of the UV resin to be able to make this more rigid. In this case, uh, I don't even think I'm going to add any of that. I think I'm just going to add it at the end to give a little bit of flash along the, the body of this fly. So I'm going to start um, building up some of my mass on the body and try to get this started here some black on this one. I love the combination of red and black. I'm not sure if it's just uh, Metallica's Kill 'Em All album that makes me always like that color combination, but so as I told you before in the last video, a lot of times with these these feathers uh, that have a lot of down in them, I really use those a lot more like dubbing and start to just wrap that around the thread itself and then well, if I can get it to start sometimes it's a little bit tricky you gotta watch yourself with that hook Let's try another piece. Get some that's fairly light in in weight, and you don't want to have a lot of. Um, that might even be a little bit too much of the quill. So if the quill is too thick, just go ahead and chop that off of there. I need one 
things. So what I want y'all to see now, once I get the feather all locked in there, that one just wants to be out and I'm tempted to leave it just because it's a really good length towards the end of the tail. So maybe we can just give it a couple wraps down here to make it stay down there. So this flashing material, like I said, I just use my little fly scissors um, for cutting out a shape. And I usually will just go with what I've got sitting there on the edge. And this, uh, this looks pretty decent. I mean, it ends up looking like a wing. You can cut it a little bit more narrow if you want to just have like a streak of metallic flash going through the water past your intended target but I think I'm gonna go with something like this Sorry. Um, so I'll just lay that down on the other side you can even do uh, the, the adhesive on one step so just put a, a little drop I'm not using super glue for the uh, edges of this. I just want a little dab in the middle so that I can get this to stick together. And then I'll go back in with the UV resin. And if you haven't watched that, that other video on the spinner blades, it's basically this exact same thing. I will take two sides, put them together, And then cut out that exact same shape. Whoops. Let me try that again. My super glue is like completely closed. All right. A little bit there. Place it down onto sheet on the other side so you're making making these pieces backed up against each other and then go and cut out that exact same profile all right so I always go back and look at this now that you've got both sides whoops both sides cut um, and make sure that they're even and this has got a foam backing on there so it's going to add a little bit of buoyancy to your bait I'm gonna place these on both sides and then start to tie those in there. So the placement is up to you if you want to get it a little bit. Um, so it, it's not directly laid on top of the feather. You can do that. Just get some some tight wraps in there. And I'm probably going to cover that up with one more piece of um, black feather. piece that isn't too thick. Drop my bobbin again. So I think 
think that what that does is just cover up that connection, makes the those metallic pieces of material a little bit more uh, seamless in their transition into the body of the fly. with finishes in my caveman like way still waiting to be berated in the comments about how I'm whip finishing these flies but I promise you I do have better ways to be able to do this but I just um, have temporarily taken a break from that and honestly, I mean, I'm not super upset about it. I'm going to go back in and just add some adhesive to lock that core of, of fibers down. And uh, then we'll be ready to, ready to fish and test it out. some shots of this and get it up on my Instagram if you haven't subscribed to this channel or followed bhi.flies on Instagram go ahead and uh, go over and do that and I'll see you all next time thanks for watching